when they hear you're from Kansas City, they immediately just imagine that you live in a cow pasture full of shit and tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not like that at all. It's a major city. And it's, it's kind of a tough town. The spirit, it's got a tough spirit. I mean, I come from here, so I have, I do have that no bullshit mentality. I feel like that was something that was kind of ingrained in me geographically. Through everything that I've been through, love is usually my main motivator in life. My love for my wife is what brought me back here. And I feel really lucky because a lot of people don't get that. Somewhere when I was just becoming a teenager, I fell in love with loud fucking rock and roll, you know? And I, I think the first, the first time I ever saw someone play guitar and said, I want to do that, it was Cheap Trick. I remember seeing Rick Nielsen playing guitar. He was an entertainer. That was the major thing that spoke to me because Sitting down and being Andre Segovia is great and beautiful, but it's not fucking Rick Nielsen, you know? It's like, I want, you know, I saw, I saw all those guitars, the, the scissor kicks, I wanted to do all that. Like, the, I was like, and it's my favorite music is just dirty rock and roll music, and from there on out, that's what changed. Guitar was really the first place where I felt like this is, this is really interesting to me and this is what I want to do and that the possibilities were kind of endless. The year I got married, 2011, came down with Bell's palsy and I really didn't know what was going on or the symptoms or anything like that. I was at work and um, when it, when it when it really came on. It had been coming on for a couple days where I'd started feeling some some sensation on my tongue, like, like I'd stuck my tongue to a battery, but like constantly, all on the left side. No time to bleed, <laughs> just because I'm so busy and I didn't have insurance at the time and shit. I didn't think anything of it. A couple days go on and I was at work and the whole left side of my face had just gone completely paralyzed and I I realized that I tried to take a drink of water and it felt like I had been shot up with no, like and my, my face just felt so fucking weird. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't move it, I couldn't control it. And it fucking hurt. Probably the most excruciating pain I've ever been in, in my life. I mean, there was a couple days where I just laid on the floor in here like a, like a, <laughs> like a screaming mute, you know? Just like my wife's at work and I'm in such pain that I couldn't even function. Not to mention that it's a complete mind fuck. I mean, you know yourself your whole life, you can control your, I mean, you don't think anything about raising an eyebrow or smiling like, I, and, um, and then to all of a sudden not be, be able to do that, it totally fucking shatters your brain. I probably won't get any more movement back than I've already gotten. And, you know, I still can't move the side of my forehead. I can't raise my, like, I'm trying to raise my eyebrow right now, you know? And, you know, smiling, like, this is the most I can move this side of my face. I used to whistle like a fucking bird. <laughs> no longer. I'm spo supposed to be on some kind of pain therapy for the rest of my life, is what the doctors told me, which I... I don't do. I don't take any narcotics or hardcore medication because I don't believe in it. I think that that's uh, a major problem with the society of America. So I don't su subscribe to that. And I looked and found other alternatives to heal myself. It's, it is what it is. I mean, I can't fucking change it. I can't pop a pill and get rid of it. I can't go to the doctor and have them operate on it and fix it. You know, it's like, it's like wrecking a car. Once you wreck a car, 
and get it fixed. I mean, it, it don't ever run the same. I couldn't have gone through any, like I wouldn't, I'd, I really believe if I didn't have Venus and her love through the last couple years, I'd be gone for sure. Like if I was dealing with all that shit on myself, I, I don't know if I'd been strong enough to handle it, you know, because it's so much to fucking deal with. And yeah. I was in, went through some dark shit, and I couldn't imagine doing it alone. And there were so, there were so many hard times and struggles, and for her to, just, I, I feel like I owe her my life. My goal in life is to have love and be happy, and this is, and this is what makes me happy, and where I find love. So. That's why I'm here.